When Canada needs our armed forces, they are always there. They show that in times of great difficulty, Canadians never face hardship alone. They fought for Canadian values during the great wars. They have been there for our friends, our partners in the Pacific, in Ukraine, and, and across the Middle East. They have been there for Canadians when impacted by storms, like earlier this year in Newfoundland, or floods, like last year in New Brunswick, Quebec and Ontario, or forest fires, like those that hit Alberta and BC in previous years. And we developed our defence policy, Strong, Secure and Engaged, in order to support our armed forces to be prepared and equipped to deal with the challenges that lay ahead. And now, during these un unprecedented times, those who wear the uniform will be there for Canadians when called upon. And that is why we took precautionary measures early to ensure that the forces remained ready. And it is why, early in this crisis, the Chief of Defence Staff directed many of them to engage in physical distancing, to stay home and be healthy and ready to respond. From the beginning, the Canadian Armed Forces have been a part of the whole of government effort in our fight against COVID-19, where the women and men in uniform assisted in bringing Canadians home from China and Japan to CFB Trenton. And over the past weeks, I've been in contact with my international partners and colleagues to learn from their experiences. With that information and looking at the possible needs across Canada, I directed the Chief of Defence Staff to develop a plan that would allow us to support a domestic response to COVID-19 based around three priorities. To support the efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. To provide support to vulnerable communities across Canada. To assist our provincial and territorial partners with logistics, including directly supporting municipalities if needed. And I also want to stress that this response to COVID-19 would occur while still maintaining our ability to respond to possible flooding or forest fires. And based on this guidance, the Chief of Defence Staff has developed a plan that will see the Canadian Armed Forces mobilizing up to 24,000 regular and reserve force members across the Canadian Armed Forces to support these efforts. The Canadian Army have readied up to 10 regular force units across Canada. These media reaction units are ready to support any request for assistance. They can play a critical role in providing humanitarian support and delivering supplies. They'll be ready to respond to support Canadians no matter where they live. All, also made available, reservists and Canadian Rangers are being brought into full-time service and will be part of an integrated Canadian Armed Forces response. These flexible teams are capable of operating as local response forces to assist with humanitarian support, wellness checks, natural disaster response, and other tasks as required. I also want to emphasize that particular attention was given to Indigenous and Northern and Arctic communities. And this, um, these needs um, directed our planning. And that is why over 50 uh, Canadian Ranger patrols will be available to enhance our understanding of the needs of the Northern remote and Indigenous communities, and we will be ready to respond as required. And our Royal Canadian Air Force has all necessary capabilities and personnel to support the whole of government response to COVID-19 while continuing to deliver on their standing commitments. The Royal Canadian Navy are, re are also ready to respond on short notice to coastal communities who might need a helping hand. We are moving forward with this plan to help support Canadians no matter where they live, when and where it is needed. Though we have not yet received any formal request for assistance, the team at the Department of National Defence and I continue to work with Minister Blair and, the Pu and Public Safety Canada so that we are ready when called upon. And we will provide local commanders the authority to be flexible in our assistance to ensure that local needs are met quickly. As I've said before, the Canadian Armed Forces remain ready to help Canadians during these challenging circumstances, while at the same time ensuring that the Canadian Armed Forces will be there to support communities that may be impacted by spring flooding and forest fires. The decision that we made early has made sure that the Canadian Armed Forces is healthy and stand ready to serve. And we will continue to make strong um, uh, precautions so that take, take strong precautions so that the women and men uh, who serve will stay healthy and ready to help. The planning we have done will allow our forces to respond to COVID-19 at home 
and to protect communities impacted by potential natural disasters, while allowing us to continue the important work we do with our allies and partners to support international security. We will be there. We are ready to help. And no matter how challenging the circumstances, when called upon, the Canadian Armed Forces are ready to serve. And to all our Canadian Armed Forces members and their families, thank you for your service.